This is just, just me and my best friend. What's going on? I'm Faith, Proza's Director of Education and your guide to healthy hair. Based on this video title, you may feel as if you know all that there is to know about conditioner, but I can assure you that you will learn at least one new thing by the end of this video. So let's have a chat about your conditioner. Conditioner is the second or third step in your wash routine. While shampoo is designed to cleanse the scalp and hair of excess buildup, it isn't designed to beautify the hair in the same way that conditioner does. So when we talk about conditioners, we must first discuss the role of pH in hair care. When talking about hair and pH, the closer hair falls in the acidic range is better than if the hair's pH falls in the alkaline range. A typical healthy strand of hair has a pH between a 4 to a 5.5 on the pH scale. Now, the reason that hair that is more acidic is considered healthier has much to do with the outer cuticle layer. When products with an acidic pH are applied to the hair, they essentially help to lay down and close the outer cuticle layer, protecting the hair's inner cortex. This also helps with the ease of removing knots and tangles and helps to prevent future tears along the hair shaft. In contrast, when products with an alkaline pH are applied to hair, they allow for the outer cuticle to lift open and expose the inner cortex. When the cortex is exposed, hair is much more susceptible to long-term damage that can be considered irreversible. An alkaline pH also increases the friction between hair fibers and consequently leads to hair damage. Now, these reactions are happening all the time when you are shampooing, conditioning, highlighting, perming, relaxing, coloring, you get the point. That is why products with a low acidic pH are so important for proper hair care. Now, the length of time you should be leaving conditioner on your hair depends on the product's instructions, but a general rule of thumb is anywhere between two to five minutes. And this is where distribution really counts. Make sure your conditioner is spread evenly throughout the hair for the best results. After using conditioner, hair should immediately feel softer, appear shinier, and much easier to manage. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we will be demonstrating how to properly wash and condition your hair, so stay tuned.